Okay, so I got the opportunity to use this crazy Cadillac of all sewing machines today, the Baby Lock Destiny 2. Let me show you what you can do in under 30 minutes. Hi, it's Kim. Today I have the opportunity to use this high-end fancy sewing machine with my mother-in-law and my daughter. So I am going to take the opportunity to embroider a design on a pair of jeans. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We opened up the seam of these jeans and floated the jeans on an embroidery hoop because jeans are difficult to work with in an embroidery hoop. So we pasted it on the sticky material and now we're able to go ahead and center it and add the stitching. Okay, so I've picked out my design here. It tells you this machine is, it's a computer and it does all kinds of fancy things. So all, we, all I've done is pick the design. It tells you what different colors that you'll need of embroidery thread. So we've picked out our colors. We have split open a pair of jeans and we're going to embroider this on the thigh of the jeans and we've attached it to the hoop. And what color are we on now? A yellow. And now we're just going to hit start. The machine threads itself. You can go through and we're gonna, we've just threaded it. Now we're just gonna hit start. It'll tell you how long each color will take. So this yellow that we're doing now will take two minutes. And it even shows you what flowers it's adding at the moment. Okay, so we've now finished the yellow. We're gonna switch over to the pink and start all of the pink flowers. And this next color, it's going to tell you it's going to take seven minutes to do this next one. Is that what that's saying? Four. Oh, four minutes to do the pink. Total time we've started doing this is 15 minutes out of 22. 6,711 stitches out of 12,640. Check that out. <laughs> Ooh, I like the hot pink. Uh, even though it's red, you can know. It would tell you if you made a mistake. Hilarious. Kick. Mm hmm. Yeah. I didn't pull that one out. There we go. Okay, all done. Now all we have to do is slide her out. Yeah, it looks like the picture. Now all we have to do is reassemble the pant leg. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull the backing off. And I just learned that you want to tear it close to the design because as you wash it, uh, the rest of it will come off. So that's what I'm trying to do without wreaking havoc on it. Now you can wear them like that, or you can... Yeah, I could do the whole open thigh thing, but 
I'm gonna go. No, Garrett. All right, so now we're gonna get some help sewing them back together. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we've converted into a sewing machine now, and now we're just going to sew the pant leg back together. We rip the pant leg open, add the embroidery, sewing it back together. All right, we're all done. I want to say thanks to my special guest, my mother-in-law, Kathy, and my daughter, Courtney, for helping me create these embroidered jeans. They look great. So I saw these jeans in a department store and really liked the look, but they're pretty expensive. And I had the opportunity to have my special guest here with me this weekend and this fancy machine. So I took the opportunity to make my own pair of fancy embroidered jeans. What would you put on a pair of jeans? Tell me what you think and add your comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>